Little tomato or adult tomato? Mommy, what does this mean? If you choose the adult tomato, you'll turn into an adult. If you choose the small tomato, you'll be I really forever. want to grow up and be an adult like you. Honey, wait. You can't eat that now. You have to wait 13 hours. Oh, I wanted to grow up quickly. Look, the nerd just entered our class. Why do you always wear those glasses? Aren't they too big for you? You can bully me all you want, but once I become an adult, I'm going to be really pretty. Wait, did you pick the adult tomato? Yeah, didn't you? No, we all chose the small tomatoes. This is so funny. When you're an adult, you can work as our babysitter. That's not funny. You're not the only one who chose the adult tomato. Really? You chose the adult tomato too? Yes. Who would want to be small forever? When we're adults, we can do whatever we like and we'll have our own money. I wonder what you're going to look like when you grow up. You'll probably look like a grown-up nerd. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look beautiful. You really think so? That's never going to happen. Class, for those who chose the adult tomatoes, the age will randomly increase. So, I'm going to grow older randomly? Yeah, you could either become a teenager, a mom, or a grandma. No, I don't want to be a grandma! So, if I eat this, I might go straight looking like a grandma. What should I do? Listen, guys, you know how Amara and David chose the adult tomatoes? Let's steal David's tomatoes so that Amara will be the only one who looks old. Yeah, let Amara grow up on her own. Besides, she really thinks she's going to look pretty when she grows up. Let's prove her wrong. I have to tell David now. Where is he? I wanted to tell him, but he's not here. Is everyone ready? It's time for you to eat your tomatoes. I'm sure Amara won't be pretty when she grows up. Let's just see after she eats that tomato. You have to eat your tomatoes in a count of three, two, one. So, this is how I look like as an adult? It's all because you ate the big tomato. <sighs> Turns out, I'm not a nerd anymore. But where are my friends? Everyone who ate the small tomatoes are now in an orphanage. Huh? Orphanage? Yep, that's right. I can't believe it. They all made Dave eat the small tomato and now he's stuck in an orphanage. I have to help him. Use this tomato to help Dave. Is this a small tomato or a big tomato? It's a big tomato. Give it to Dave. Make sure he eats it within 24 hours. Otherwise, he'll stay small forever. Small forever? Yes, you don't have much time. Hurry up and get to the orphanage. Excuse me, may I come into this orphanage? You're not part of this orphanage, so you cannot enter. But my friend's in there. I don't care. You're not allowed in. What am I going to do? I have to quickly give him this tomato. You have to be a part of the orphanage. How am I supposed to do that? Apply to be a teacher. Huh? Teacher? Yes. Okay, then. I'll try. Hey, can I apply for a job here as a teacher? Oh, yes. It just happens that this orphanage doesn't have a teacher yet. Can you start today? Yeah, sure. It's so dirty in here. Oh, my God. Is that the nerd? How are you so pretty now? You guys used to bully me at school, right? We're so sorry. We all ate the small tomato. Please, if you have a big tomato, give it to us. I'm so sorry I bullied you in the past. No, you guys swapped Dave's tomato to a small one. You're evil. I'm not giving you anything. Where is he? Hey, I know you have a big tomato. Can you please give it to one of our students? He hasn't been able to communicate with anyone ever since he got here. Not able to communicate? Who is this student? What's his name? His name is... His name is Dave. Huh? Dave? Do you know the name Dave? Can I see him? Yeah, of course. Follow me. I want to get married. I want to get married. I want to get married. Is he okay? Why is he saying that? He's sick. He can only recover when he grows up. Then what should I do? Should I give him this big tomato? I just remembered. He's actually allergic to tomatoes. So if you give it to him, he might die. What? This is all because they changed his big tomato to a small one. I want to help him, but I don't know how. There's nothing you can do. You just have to wait for him to grow up. Okay, I'm willing to leave this orphanage, but in one condition. What condition? I have to be the leader of this orphanage for one day. And why do you want that? Because there's something I have to do. Okay, I've been needing a break from this place anyway. So the leader of this orphan is left. Now we can bully Amara. You really think you can bully me? You still don't know, do you? No, what? I'm now the leader of this orphanage. How come? Since you all decided to bully Dave and give him the wrong tomato, you're going to have to clean up all his stuff and be his helpers for the day. Okay, we'll do it now. Good. You haven't given your friend the big tomato yet? Not yet, because he's allergic to tomatoes and he might die. Hurry up, you only have 30 minutes left. If you don't give it to him, you won't be able to save him. But he's allergic. Just trust me and give him the tomato. 
Okay. Hey, Dave, you still remember me, right? Um, you're Amara. Great. Basically, you have to trust me and eat this tomato, okay? But I'm allergic. But it's gonna help you feel better. Um, okay. I wonder what my strength is. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, what power did you get? Every time I cry, it rains. Okay, then cry now. It's been two months without rain. I can't just cry like that, Mom. You're such a useless child. Why is it so hot today? Just cry and make it rainy. Mom, you think it's that easy for me to cry? No, but it hasn't rained in over two months. Babe, I brought this for you from the canteen. Oh, just put it on my table. Okay. Um, did you need anything else? No, just leave me alone. As you wish. Why did he speak to me like that? Honey, me and your dad are going on a cruise tonight. No matter what you do, make sure you don't cry, just for tonight. Sure. Hey, babe. Sorry, but we have to break up. What? Why? How can you break up with me? We've been together for three years. Sis, why are you crying? Did you forget mom and dad are on that cruise? Calm down, it's just rain. They'll be fine. Relax, it's just rain. They'll be fine. Breaking news, a cruise ship sunk tonight as the storm keeps getting worse. A cruise sunk? The cruise ship was traveling from Dover to Spain. I hope it's not the cruise my parents are on. Sis, do you remember when mom and dad's destination was on that cruise? I don't know, why? Because there was a cruise that sunk. What did I say? This is all your fault. <sighs> Wait! Mom would normally have called by now. I'm starting to get worried. <sighs> Just stop crying. Can you just shut up? You think I'm crying on purpose? Kids, school event cancelled because of heavy rain. This is all my fault. Can you just stop crying? You don't even know what I'm going through. Yeah, and no one cares what you're going through. Mom, come on, pick up. Just accept it. Mom and dad are gone. Mom's calling. I knew it. Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? Hello? Hello? How comes you have my mom's phone and who are you? We need your help. Your mom and dad aren't doing well right now. They can't talk. What do you mean? What happened? We barely survived. We had to swim three hours for the nearest island. What island is it? Hello? No, don't hang up. How am I supposed to find them now? Who was that? My parents are still alive, but they're stuck on some island and I don't know where. Listen to me. You have to stop crying, okay? That's the only way you can help them out. I can't just stop crying. I'm stressed out. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just think of a good memory. Maybe it will help. It worked. It's sunny. Okay, now let's go find your parents. How are we going to do this? They called you, right? We can take the phone to the police and they can locate where the call came from. Okay. So, did you find them? Yes, they're not very far away. Get the rescue boats ready. We need to get them out as soon as possible. They must be dehydrated. Mom, Dad! We're so happy to see you, honey. Here, have some water. Wait, so you're not mad at me for crying? I mean, you could have chosen another day to cry, but no, we're not mad at you. We're alive, and that's what's important. Why didn't your sister come with you? We had a fight. She blamed me for what happened. Hey, don't be mad at her. She probably just did it because she was stressed out. I'll talk to her. Sis, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. It wasn't your fault. No, it's fine. Thanks for the apology. How are you? I see you're finally happy. Yeah, I realized that I shouldn't waste my tears on someone that never cared about me. I deserve better. That's so true. I'm glad you finally realized that. Finally, I can see again. Mom, my battery is full. I can go to school now, right? Of course, honey. As long as you take your charger with you. But I'm sure my battery won't disappear that quick. Take your charger with you. Otherwise, I won't let you go to school. Okay, fine. I'll take it. Bye-bye, world. Emma, what are you doing? I only have 1% left. I'm going to be blind soon. Calm down. Here, I'll lend you my charger. Thank you, Amara. That's why we're best friends. Next time this happens, tell me straight away. Don't wait until your battery is almost gone. Sure, my battery is full now. Here, you can take your charger back. Hey, Amara, why did you help Emma? Because she's my best friend. You can't be helping people like that. Why not? Are you jealous because I was helping her? Jealous? Did you forget that? 
You know what? I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Hey, Amara, my battery is about to run out. Oh my gosh, sir. Can you please lend me your charger? My battery is about to run out too, sir. I just need it for a minute. Okay, I'm still on 20%, so I think I still have some extra time. Here. I'm on 5%. I'm just going to go over there to charge it. I'll be right back. Wait, sir, where are you going? I'll look for it later. Why are my eyes itchy? Your eyes are itchy because your battery is running out. Why aren't you charging? I lent the charger to my teacher and he still hasn't returned it to me. <gasps> you have to hurry up and get the charger. What are you waiting for? I've looked everywhere for him, but I can't find him. How does he borrow a charger and disappear like that? I'll help you find him. Come on. <gasps> Sir, finally, we've been looking everywhere for you. Why are you at the warehouse? Why? What's wrong? <sighs> Did you forget that you borrowed my charger? Uh, yes, here. Have it back. But, sir, my charger was black. It doesn't matter if it's black or white. They all do the same thing. Uh, but... If you don't want it, you can give it back. No, sir, I have to use it. My battery is very low. Anyway, thanks for lending me your charger. I'll give you extra points in the next exam. Sir was acting weird. I have to investigate it. But before, I have to charge my eyes. Otherwise, I'll go blind. Hey, why is your charger white? Wasn't it black before? Yeah, why? <gasps> Amara, no! What? I can't wear that. I'm literally going to school. I love this outfit, but I'm definitely going to get sent home for this. Amara, what are you wearing? I know. My soulmate made me. You better hope none of the teachers sees you. Otherwise, they'll give you a detention. They're definitely going to see me. Excuse me, young lady. Where's your uniform? Miss, my soulmate made me wear this. I don't care. Go home and change. Not again. My teacher just sent me home and told me to change to a school uniform. Oh my gosh, my soulmate literally has the best taste in clothes, but I can't go to school like this, especially now that my teacher's told me to change. You deserve it. Amara, didn't I tell you to change? That's it. Two hour detention after school. Sorry I'm late, miss. Um, Jake, why are you wearing a Barbie costume? Huh? I have to make five people become friends? What is this, Mom? Yes, if you make five people become friends, our whole family will be rich and famous. <gasps> That's my dream ever since childhood. So what are you waiting for? Come on, quickly, accept the challenge. Okay. I have to make my mom my friend. Mom! Are you looking for me? What do you need? <sighs> mom, I have to make you my friend in order to complete this challenge. Okay, if that's the case, I'll be your friend now. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Okay, who's the second person? Her? But Ava's my enemy. How am I going to be friends with her? Did you just say my name? Do you want to be friends with me? But I swear we've hated each other since childhood. You must have bad intentions. No, I don't. I promise. Okay, I'll be your friend, but I have some conditions. What are your conditions? You have to pay for my school lunch for the whole year. And if you don't, I won't be your friend. If I don't pay for her lunch, I won't get the reward. So I have no other choice. Yes, fine. I'll pay for your lunch. Here's for today's. Okay, we're finally friends. Charlotte, do you want to be my friend? Um, yeah, sure. You seem like you're kind. I don't see why not. How come it's this easy? Okay, who's next? Teacher? But my teacher's really messed up. How could I be friends with her? What's wrong, Amara? Do you want to be my friend? I'll be your friend, but only if you clean up this whole class in three minutes. Three minutes? Okay. Done. Wow, that was quick. Well done. We're friends. Yay. Thank you so much, miss. Okay, one more person. I wonder who it could be. Dad? But I haven't seen my dad ever since I was little. I have to ask my mom for help. Mom, I wanted to ask you about my biological father. How many times have I told you not to speak about him? But mom, in order for us to be rich and famous, I have to be friends with him. He's the last one. Okay, in that case, come with me. Yes, I can finally meet my dad. Thanks, Mom. But remember, no hugs, okay? Okay. Um, uh, Mom, where's Dad? 
He's right there, honey. Mom, where's dad? He's right there, honey. Um... Come on, just hurry up. You have to become friends with but him. But I don't see anyone. Don't be ridiculous. He's right there in front of you. I don't see anything. Is she hallucinating? Whatever, I'll just act like I saw him. Oh yeah, he's right there. I can see him now. Yes, now we're going to be rich and famous. So, what happened? Did you meet your dad? Not yet. Just ask your mom for help. Well, I tried, but I couldn't see him. Where's his location? Come, let me show you. You can see ghosts, right? Please tell me if my dad is here. Okay, just wait a minute. I can't see anyone. There's no ghosts here. Okay, that means my mom was just hallucinating. What am I going to do now? I can help you. You can? How? You can just skip your dad, but you're going to have to be friends with other people, and the challenge is going to be harder. Skip my dad? Do you still want to continue the challenge? Yes. Then you have to trust me. I hope she knows what she's talking about. It's loading again. Hello, Amara. How are you? Long time no see. Oh, I thought you moved out of the city. Do you still want to be my friend? But we hate each other. Are you sure you want to be friends? Yes, of course. I'd love to be your friend. In that case, okay, we can be friends. Now that you're my friend, I want to invite you for dinner at my house. Sure, I'll come, but after I finish my homework. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Who else do I have to be friends with? Security guard? You're Miss Aria's friend, aren't you? Please enter. Since when did Aria have a security guard? Do you want to be my friend? Wow, you really want to be friends with me? You're beautiful. Of course I'll be your friend. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm going to go in now. See you. Hey, Aria. Why do you look so shocked? Honestly, I have to make my dad my friend, but I don't even know where he is. Gosh, Amara, is your dad missing? I think so. Then you have to look for him. How? We have to go to his house. Oh, turns out the door's locked. Yes, but... What is this? That must be a photo of him, right? Give it to me. Wait! Huh? This photo is... That must be a photo of him, right? Let me see. Wait! Huh? This photo is... Do you know the person in this photo? No, I thought I recognized his face, but I don't know him. I have to continue looking for him, but at least I know what he looks like. Yeah, true. She's acting a bit suspicious. I wonder what she's hiding. I'm starting to give up. How am I supposed to ever find him when no one's willing to help me? I'm never going to get this reward, am I? Hey, are you okay? Um, yeah, everything's fine. You can't lie to me. I can see from your face that something's wrong. Actually... You're chasing your dad again, aren't you? You'll find him sooner or later. How do you know that? I can't tell you. I'll be in trouble. Honey, where's the reward? How come we're not rich yet? Um, Mom? Don't tell me you lied to me about being friends with your dad. No, apparently it takes some time before we can receive the reward. No need to worry, just calm down. Anyway, all I care about is that reward, and if you don't get it, I'm kicking you out of the house. Yes, Mom. I can't get caught. If I do, I'll get kicked out of the house, and I'll be letting my mom down. Old lady, finally I found you. I need your help again. But didn't I already help you? Yes, but I still have some questions. Don't worry, soon you'll be getting your reward, because you're so close to the answer. Close to finding out the answer? Wait, why does she keep disappearing? Hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. What a coincidence, I was just about to show you this picture. You have the same dad as Aria. What? Yes, they're trying to hide it from you. Your dad doesn't want you to know that you're his daughter. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because they could hear our conversation. I have to do something about this. What are you doing here? What do you think? Who's at the door, Aria? No one, Dad. Don't worry. Finally, I get to meet your dad. Hello, I'm Amara. I'm looking for my dad, and I think it's you. Sorry, but you've got the wrong person. Are you serious? Yep, I only have one daughter, and it's Aria. You can leave now, Amara. Okay, I'll leave, but I have one request. And what's that? Can you at least be my friend? Okay, but you have to promise not to disturb yeah, our lives. Yeah, I promise. Okay, we're friends, starting from now. I might not have been able to make him admit that I'm his daughter, but at least I'm going to be rich and famous in return. Choose glasses that can see people's last drink or last meal. Last drink, because I want to know who drinks my coffee in the morning.
Amara, why haven't you left your room yet? You're gonna be Mom, late. Mom, I know. I'm leaving now. Okay, hurry up. Wait for me to drink coffee first. What? How come my coffee mug is empty again? Did you drink the coffee that was on my table, Mom? It wasn't me who drank it. I don't even like coffee. You don't like coffee? It was you who drank it. Your last drink is coffee. What? How did you know that? I'm not going to tell you. Here, make me another one. Let's go to school. We're about to be late. Okay, sis. I'll be ready soon. Sewage water? You drink sewage water? Yes, because sewage water makes us more beautiful. No, it doesn't. Who told you that? My best friend. She drinks sewage water all the She's time. She's lying to you. No, she would never do that. She's my best friend, so I trust her. I have a really stupid sister. Hey, bestie. Hey. Did you know we're going to have to donate blood tomorrow again? Another blood donation? Didn't we donate blood last week? Yes, but there's a lot of people who need blood out there, Amara. True. Oh, yeah, I just found out. My sister's still drinking sewage water. Just leave her. Maybe she likes the taste of it. What? I have a sister who likes to drink sewage water and a friend who likes to drink fish pond water. Amara, you're donating blood again tomorrow, right? No, sir. I'm not going to because I already did last week. If you're selfish and don't want to donate your blood, you can't come to school again. Okay, fine. I'll donate blood again. But just please, don't kick me out of the school. I heard tomorrow the principal's son will help with the blood donation. The principal's son? Is he a doctor? Yes, he's a doctor who graduated from Harvard. He's so hot, so stay away from him. He's mine. How do you expect him to date someone who drinks fish pond water? What? No, I don't. I'm gonna go to bed early, so I'm ready for the blood donation tomorrow. Hey, sis, did you drink any water yet? Yeah, I did loads. Did you? Yes, my friend said that toilet water makes her faces glow. <sighs> it's so hard having a sister who's this stupid. Mom, Amara called me stupid. Good morning, mom. I'm going to school. Okay, honey, I prepared lunch for you. Thanks, mom. Why does your school always have blood donations anyway? I don't know. They have them every week. Maybe the blood stocks in the hospital are running low. Maybe. Class 11C. Amara, what class did you get? I got 11C. Exchange with me, please. Why? Because the principal's son will be there. In that case, no, I'm not exchanging. I'm curious, how handsome could the principal's son be? Excuse me, I didn't mean to bump into you. You're the principal's son, right? Nice to meet you, I'm Amara. I'm Dr. Tyson, I have to go because I have a lot of things to prepare. His last drink was from my blood donation last week. What kind of human is he?